Hello, future engineers, and welcome to Onshape Practice 4, Part 2, Hockey Puck. So this one, we're going to be learning how to use circular patterns, and we're going to be reading some notes that have been left on this drawing, too. So let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do, we are going to draw the main circle of this, and then we're going to subtract from that. So the first circle that we're going to draw is a diameter of 4. So let's go into our on shape and get started. So I will create a new drawing and this is hockey puck. There we go. All right, and I'm going to start on the front face, start a 2D sketch, do normal to plane, take a circle, throw it at the center, and then dimension this at a dimension of four. So hopefully you are gathering some confidence as we go through this, just because it is uh, just a nice project that we are getting faster at and faster at as we go along. So I am going to finish the sketch and then I will view my isometric view and let's see, I didn't even see how far we were supposed to extrude this. So the depth that we're extruding it to is a depth of one, one, cool. All right, so we're gonna go through these next parts pretty quickly. So I'll extrude this at one, and then I'm going to start another sketch on the front face. This time, uh, this circle is a diameter of 3.5. So I'll dimension that out. That's diameter 3.5, cool. And then we are going to subtract that from our original shape. That is remove, and we are removing it at a depth of 0.5. Cool. All right, so now we have one more sketch that we're going to do, which is going to be that, or actually we have two more, two more sketches but this one is going to still be more the same, just draw in another circle. This one has a diameter of, let's check. So looking at the schematic, it has a 0.88 through, meaning that it goes all the way through. So let's go back to our drawing. Diameter is 0.88. I can finish that sketch, view my isometric. I'm going to extrude back that shape. So I'll go to remove. And of course it's already set at removing one inch, which is totally fine. But if you wanted to, because it is through all, you can change your end type to through all and it will remove the same thing. All right. So now I'm gonna show you a nice quick shortcut to what we are about to do, which is creating these three evenly spaced uh, holes. There are pattern commands that will allow us to do this very quickly. So we have three diameter 0.5 holes that go through the entire shape. They're evenly spaced 120 degrees apart uh, and they are on a 2.5 diameter circle. It's just what they're describing right here. So we are going to throw that right here. It is the bisecting circle that just goes right through the center of them. Cool. So let's draw one of those and then we're going to use a pattern to move it around. All right. So let's go back to our drawing and I'm going to select that face. I am going to view normal to, and then I'll start my sketch onto it. All right, so one other thing that we are going to go over is how to create a construction feature. So by turning on this icon up top, you can see what is flashing on and off. That is a construction feature, which means that it is there only as reference. It is not something that actually shows up on our drawing. So we're gonna turn that on so that we can draw that circle Right there, you can see that it is a hash line, dotted lines, and we are going to dimension that circle at 2.25, which is where we wanted it to be. 
Then we are going to draw a circle, circle center point, goes straight up from the origin until it hits there. Now this circle, and notice I have turned off my uh, construction feature. This had that dimension of 0.5. So I'm gonna choose that right there. All right, so now we wanna do a pattern. So if I go into my two dimensional drawing tools, you can see that we have something called circular pattern. So we're gonna choose a circular pattern. And for this, we're going to select our object and boom, it already has it evenly spaced out with three, which is perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. It's everything that I had hoped for. Uh, now you can also change that if you wanted to change the entities to six, it's gonna evenly space them out at six. You can also change the direction and if it goes all the way around or not. So we do want it to go all the way around and we'll change that back to three. Oop. And we wanna set that uh, angle, we're gonna make it uh, 120 each. Oop. No, we wanna make that 360 actually. There we go. Ooh. No, had it for a second there. 240, there we go. So we'll, whoop. oh, it didn't let me finish that. So I'll edit that sketch. Go edit, let's choose that circular pattern again. Select the first one, and I am not going to mess around with that, I'm just gonna tap outside of it. And it will have them set there. Now, you can see that they are blue. Oh, shoot. Only the third time is a charm. There you go. So now we can dimension those. If we wanted to get rid of the blue, we could dimension them to the origin. These dimensions are already set for us. And we can hit our check mark right there. And then finish the whole sketch, a few isometric. And now when I go extrude, I can choose sketch four, and it's gonna select all three of them. And we're gonna remove them and click done. So it's a pretty simple part that we actually did. It's just that one command that can be a little tricky and it's definitely a little different on Onshape than in my previous experience using the command. But there you go. Uh, let's check our mass and our surface area or our volume and surface area. So for volume, we get 7.157 inches cubed, and then surface area, we get 44.541 inches squared. All right, that is it. So uh, hopefully that is a quick tutorial and helps you out. If you have any questions, please reach out. I'll talk to you later.